The movie begins when renowned warrior Maiden Shu Lin emerges from retirement after 18 years of solitude. She travels to Peking to attend Sir Tay's funeral procession, a man who is like a father to her. Several warriors from the West Lotus clan attack Shu Lin's carriage in the forest. Shu Lin jumps out of the carriage, defending herself and the driver. As she fights them, a masked horseman comes to her aid, and together, they defeat the attackers. She unmasks one of the assailants, revealing a young man named Wei Fang. Meanwhile, at the Tower of the West Lotus, Warlord Hades Dai, a young woman named Snow Vase, arrives, claiming to seek to join his ranks. But as Dai approaches her, she draws a sword and attempts to kill him. He quickly fights her off, breaks her sword, and easily corners her. With nowhere else to go, Snow Vase flees into the forest. Dai orders his men not to follow her so that she can grow into someone worth killing. As Wei Fang makes his way through the forest, the witch known as the Blind Enchantress approaches him and orders him to take her to Dai. Soon, Xu Lin arrives in Peking, and the house of Sir Tay invites her in. Tay Jr., the son of the late Sir Tay, warmly greets her. He reveals that the house displays the green destiny, which surprises Xu Lin as it should have been hidden, as the sword is the most powerful weapon in the martial world. The sword used to belong to her deceased lover, Li Mu Bei, who died 18 years ago while fighting Hades Dai. Elsewhere, Wei Fang brings the blind enchantress to Hades Dai, as per her request. She tells Dai that the green destiny surpasses his great sword and prophesizes that if he is to rule the martial world, first he must obtain the sword. Dai is reluctant to storm the home of the emperor's brother, but the enchantress tells him to send Wei Fang, as the boy and the sword share a bound fate. During Sir Tay's funeral ceremony, Xu Lin spots a suspicious young woman, Snow Vase, among the ones who come to pay their respects. Later that night, Wei Fang enters the house and attempts to steal the sword, nearly alerting the guards when he almost breaks a plate. Suddenly, Snow Vase appears and tries to grab the sword from him. The two fight for the sword, avoiding anything that can make a noise so as not to alert the guards. During the fight, Snow Vase notices a birthmark on Wei Fang's chest, which distracts her enough to push her away, causing her to crash into a big vase and break it. The loud crash of the vase alerts the guards to the intruder. He tries to run away, but she calls for help, and Xu Lin arrives and quickly captures the boy. Xu Lin recognizes him as one of the attackers from when her carriage was ambushed earlier. The guards confine him, and Xu Lin suggests keeping him in the compound as she believes he might be of use to them. Afterward, Snow Vase asks her about the legendary Green Destiny Sword's power and if it is as powerful as they say. Xu Lin says that the sword would be mighty if in the right hands, so Xu Lin offers her to try it. Xu Lin quickly disarms her, which amazes Snow Vase, and she asks to take her as a disciple and train her, but Xu Lin declines the request. The next day, Xu Lin suggests to Tay Jr. that they move the Green Destiny Sword to Wudong Temple, high up in the mountains, where it would be safe. But he refuses, as he had promised his late father to keep the sword in their home. Determined to keep the blade safe, Xu Lin decides to stay and calls for help from warriors who still follow the Iron Way. At a tavern, Meng Si Zhao, the horseman known as Silent Wolf, who has been secretly following Xu Lin from afar, comes across the poster. He posts the warrant for warriors to join him in protecting the House of Tay. A mercenary offers his 30 swordsmen for a high price, but Meng Si Zhao doesn't accept them. He is looking for honorable warriors of the Iron Way, not mercenaries for hire, which angers the mercenaries, and they attack Silent Wolf, using their numbers to their advantage. Fortunately, four warriors join Silent Wolf in the fight, Flying Blade of Shantung, Thunder Fist Chan, Silver Dart Chi, and Turtle Ma offer him help. The warriors easily defeat the mercenaries, each using their unique skills. Even the tavern owner helps fight the mercenaries, angered by the mess they've made. After defeating them all, Silent Wolf recruits them to help him protect the House of Tay against the West Lotus. Upon learning that it would be just the five of them defending against a whole clan, they are initially reluctant but agree to help. Soon, they rush to the House of Tay to aid Xu Lin in protecting the Green Destiny Sword. Meanwhile, Xu Lin begins training Snow Vase after witnessing her skill with the sword. At the same time, Wei Fang remains locked up in a cage and continues interrupting Snow Vase's training by attempting to distract her. Xu Lin compliments Snow Vase and asks about her master, but she says her master has died. Soon, Silent Wolf and his warriors arrive at the house of Tay. Xu Lin is shocked to see Silent Wolf, her former beloved, as he was thought to have been killed by Hades Dai many years before. He explains that he was in love with Xu Lin but knew she loved Mu Bei, his best friend, back then. Silent Wolf had faked his demise to seek a life of enlightenment in the mountains. He knew Mu Bei wouldn't ask Xu Lin for her hand as long as he was alive. But even then, Li Mu Bei did not marry Xu Lin to honor his friend. 
Hades die and his clan massacre other clans elsewhere to claim their territories as they would not submit to him. He sends his elite warrior, Mantis, to retrieve the sword when Wei Fang has failed to return. He criticizes the blind enchantress for the false prophecy. However, she tells him about a warrior once thought dead and now residing at the house of Tei. He realizes it must be Meng Si Zhao, the Silent Wolf. Soon, Xu Lin, Silent Wolf, and his warriors have been anticipating an attack and are guarding the compound's perimeters. Despite being heavily guarded, Mantis arrives with her raiding party, storms the house of Tei, and kills many guards. Snow Vase attempts to free Wei Fang from his cage in the courtyard, but Mantis attacks her. Fortunately, Wei Fang warns her. Mantis disarms Snow Vase, and Wei Fang reveals the sword's location to protect her. The blind enchantress goes to retrieve the green destiny sword. But Xu Lin had already taken it to keep it safe. Suddenly, Tae Jr. arrives, and the blind enchantress uses him to keep Xu Lin away. She reveals that Xu Lin killed her parents and is there to take her revenge, and she fatally stabs Tae Jr. When Mantis is looking for the sword, she encounters Silver Dart Xi and quickly kills her. Turtle Ma sees her and tries to attack Mantis, but she's too fast for him and immediately slashes him dead. Later, they mourn the loss of their dearest companions. Their deaths cause Xu Lin to decide that she will take the sword and leave, but Silent Wolf protests as the West Lotus Clan is watching the roads. That night, the inhabitants of the House of Tae mourn the loss of their dearest companions. On the other hand, Snow Vase comes to thank Wei Fang for saving her and tells him about his mother, revealing how her past is connected with his. Snow Vase says Wei Fang's mother is Han Mei, a legendary swordsman. However, as a baby, Wei Fang, born with a unique birthmark on his chest, was replaced by Snow Vase's mother, a concubine. Her mother hopes her master would be pleased if she presented him with a son. Han Mei raised Snow Vase as her daughter but continued looking for her son. Eventually, she finds him at West Lotus, where Wei Fang was raised and trained by Iron Crow. She was mortally wounded by Hades' die when she challenged him for Wei Fang's freedom. As she dies, she shows Wei Fang's birthmark to Snow Vase and begs her to find him. Since then, Snow Vase has held a grudge against Hades' die and is determined to avenge Han Mei's death. Later, Snow Vase frees him without anyone knowing. Snow Vase did this because she wanted to fulfill her promise to Han Mei to protect and free him from the clutches of Hades' die and the West Lotus clan. However, he steals the sword despite his promise not to return there. Soon, Silent Wolf tracks the boy down, and they fight on a frozen lake. When Wei Fang is cornered, his master, Iron Crow, comes to aid him. Iron Crow arrives and wounds Silent Wolf, allowing Wei Fang to escape and reach the West Lotus. Silent Wolf manages to defeat Iron Crow, but he is badly injured. Xu Lin arrives just in time to treat him. The two confess their true feelings, finally deciding not to leave each other again. The next day, Wei Fang offers the sword to Hades Dai, however, when Hades Dai approaches Wei Fang to get the sword from him. Wei Fang tries to kill him with the sword to avenge his mother. Soon, Xu Lin and others arrive and fight the West Lotus clan. Wei Fang nearly loses his grip on the tower, so he throws the sword to Silent Wolf, the only person who can wield it. He uses the sword against Hades Dai to re-challenge him. Meanwhile, Wei Fang helps out Snow Vase, fighting against the West Lotus. Xu Lin sees Hades die and Silent Wolf locked in battle, so she goes up to help him, not wanting him to fall the same as before. Unfortunately, the blind enchantress attacks her and uses illusions to distract her enough to try and kill Xu Lin. Xu Lin uses her skill to overcome the illusions by focusing on killing the blind enchantress. In the battle, Mantis kills Flying Blade and Thunder Fist. Seeing Mantis kill her two comrades, Snow Vase attacks her. The two of them engage in a fierce battle until Snow Vase finally manages to kill Mantis. However, she is left badly wounded, and Wei Fang begs her not to die as he clutches her in his arms. At the same time, Silent Wolf fights Hades die on the tower. The two fall down several floors, but it doesn't stop them from trying to kill the other. Silent Wolf fights Hades die in the building, eventually killing the warlord with his sword as he reaches for the green destiny. After killing him, he hands it back to Xu Lin. The movie ends as Snow Vase recovers from her injuries and joins Xu Lin, Silent Wolf, and Wei Fang to take the Green Destiny to the Wudong Mountains, where it will remain safe. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this to help the channel out. Have a nice day.